Sports. The L.A. County Sheriff says he is investigating the L.A. Times and one of its reporters. It's part of his probe into who released security video of a deputy kneeling on an inmate inside a jail. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pat Harvey. Sheriff Alex Villanueva is also disputing allegations that he covered up the incident and then retaliated against the whistleblower who called him out for it. Our Jasmine Veal has been working on this story all day. She's here now with more on the claim filed against the department and the sheriff's investigation of the LA Times. Jan. I mean, Pat, it's complicated. This has so many layers mm. every single day, right? So this all started with the LA Times. It was the LA Times who initially broke the story last month with the video of the deputy kneeling on the head of that inmate. And the sheriff wants to know who released that video to them. It has a newspaper now vigorously defending its First Amendment rights. The sheriff also came ready with his own evidence to dispute a cover up into the use of force inside of the jail. We're going to walk you through a timeline of events. LA County Sheriff Alex Villanueva laid out his own timeline Tuesday of what he says happened with an investigation following this use of force incident inside of a jail last March. It comes after the LA Times obtained the video last month and reported the sheriff tried to cover up the incident so it wouldn't shed a negative light on the department. The sheriff says there's now a criminal investigation into who released the video to the the LA Times. So here are the three individuals that we want to know a lot about. He pointed out his political opponent in the race for sheriff, the inspector general, and an LA Times reporter. The matter is under investigation. This is stolen property that was removed illegally from people who had some intent, criminal intent and it'll be subject to investigation. We will not be the only party investigating this. The sheriff even refusing at one point to answer a question from the Times reporter during the news conference. So with that, we're not going to take a question from you. Anybody else? The LA Times executive editor immediately fired back against the sheriff, saying in part his attempt to criminalize news reporting goes against well-established constitutional law. We will vigorously defend Chuck Median and the Los Angeles Times' rights in any proceeding or investigation brought by authorities. It's nothing but retaliation. It's a smoke screen. It's to throw people off the trail of what the allegation is of what was done in his department that was wrong and he should be announcing an investigation. Attorney Vincent Miller says he's not surprised at the sheriff's remarks Tuesday. Miller is representing Commander Alan Castellano, who just filed a whistleblower claim against the county Monday. He says his client wasn't protected from retaliation by the sheriff when Castellano finally blew the whistle on the lack of an investigation, claiming Villanueva saw that video within days and said, we do not need bad media at this time. So the foundation of this entire lawsuit is false. Everything on this lawsuit is false. The sheriff says while he was notified about the incident days later, as protocol states, he never saw the actual video until months later. Not only did we see November 18th, we took immediate action, and that's what launched the criminal investigation that for some reason eluded all these players from March 10th all the way to November 18th. Well, the LA County Supervisor Hilda Solis released a statement on what she calls the sheriff's habit of attacking those who report on his misconduct, like the LA Times reporter saying in part, displaying Aileen's photo at today's press conference and making her appear as if she committed a crime is not just an attack on Aileen, but the entire journalistic community. What's criminal is the sheriff's cover up of deputies using excessive force against an incarcerated person, including kneeling on his neck for three minutes. And Solis added that she will be asking the attorney general to investigate the sheriff for his actions today, Pat. All right. Thanks for that, Jasmine.